Right, welcome to, uh, to the Crocky Hill Innovation Centre. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Adam Fairweather. Um, joined today by lots of colleagues from, uh, from around the country, so big thanks to them. So if I start you out here, and I'll, I'll concentrate on Septoria, which is our biggest target here. What happens is that that Septoria lands on the leaf, and you can see the spore sticks there, and then you get hyphae growing out from that, that Septoria. And they grow over the leaf surface to try and find their way in, and they find their way in through the stomata. This is the fourth year where we've had Elastis in um, commercial trials, so we're now building up a fairly good data set of trial data. It not only controls yellow rust, but we've also got cracking set of brown rust control, which, although you might not think it's a, it's a massive disease, but as with any rust, it, it takes out the sugars that the, the leaves need to you know, create your yield. And if you don't control your yellow rust or your brown rust, you're going to impact to your yield. We've got Shabras, which I hope you've all heard of. So Shabras is another one of our Group 4 varieties. So Graham, we launched C2 last year and had a really, really positive year. We got about a 4% market share with him sold out completely. And why Graham is slightly different is that when you look at the RL, you have your varieties like Shabras that come in at the top, really, really high yielding ability. Because Graham, you look at the RL and you think, oh, he's a bit middle of the road, middle of the pack. But actually what he brings is still an ability to yield really, really well, but a fantastic disease profile. And what that's doing is then setting that crop up to be slightly more, to be more resilient when it comes into the spring. So if you get droughty conditions like we had this year, then it's better set up to do that. And then it's giving you an opportunity and a platform to work from to then look at the foliar diseases that we're all very used to coping with. And what was really great at this site is we came back in February time, so we're at mid tillering, before stem extension. And again, we measured the rooting and the foliage and we still saw this 20% increase in rooting. And you can see Redigo Pro on the left, Vibrance Duo on the right. The front half of the plots are Microdocum infected and the back half of the plots are Fusarium infected. So, starting with uh, Bazooka, a uh, popular variety positioned for the east and west. A really great portfolio of varieties and a strong pipeline behind it. And Libra, which gives you a a slightly different balance with really outstanding specific weight. Um, we work with a project called Operation Pollinator which has now been running for 16, 17 years in the UK where it was uh, originally started and is now a, a global project. Through Operation Pollinator, we have been helping um, growers and advisors and supporting them with um, advice, uh, agronomy, support and training to help them uh, understand how to plant, establish and manage uh, wildflower margins. Um, I've come for a look today, um, one reason mainly to look at some of the new varieties um, and also to have a look at some of the, uh, the SDHI fungicides um, and as to whether you know, in a year like this year which has been relatively low disease year um, if we can pull out some differences. So days like today are important both for myself as an agronomist and for growers um, just to see you know they get to see the things against competitors against each other so it's very rare we have split field trials and um, you know some fields we will use salatinol and other fields will use other products and it's very very difficult to, to pick the difference when you're using full fields when you have it here and they're side by side and, and they're next to each other you can you know you can pick the close differences and the little differences that there are